Hey everybody, Harold here with another Power BI video. I'm switching to a new topic, the new visual calculations in Power BI released in February of 2024. If you don't have them, you'll need the latest version and you'll need to go to File Options, Preview Features, and check the box to get the new visual calcs. And I'm not going to go through them one by one. Let me just say a word about them real quick. These visual calculations, they're exciting. I think they're better than quick measures. I don't really use quick measures. I write my docs for those. Quick measures have problems with having to use Power BI date hierarchy, and I don't like that. Um, what the visual calculations do is make a calculation that only exists on the visual, so it's not taking up any memory anywhere else, just exists on that visual. And I'm not going to show you, well, let, let me just click on the button. I have two tables here, one with date and total sales, one with subcategory and total sales. These are from the sample superstore database, widely available on Available on Kaggle, I'll put a link in my description. So I choose one, new calculation is now not grayed out, available in my ribbon. Click on it, opens a new window outside of the report, allows you to do certain calculations. Now the great thing about this is they're canned calculations, and I'll show you those, I'm gonna do one. We'll say running some. And it pretty much writes the DAX for you. You fill in the field. I'll say total sales. Check, commit. And now you've got running sum of total sales. Um, let's do another one real quick. Back to report. New calculation on my next table. I'm going to do a percent of grand total. So I want the, and it writes it X for you, it's dividing total sales, and then using a collapse with all to remove filters, to give you like all sales, calculate all, all sales. So I want to do total sales. And you do have to give it one more argument, which is the axis. In this case, we just type rows. There we go. Okay. Commit that. Percent of grand total. Fine. Back to my report. Now, the thing I don't like about this is, you'll probably see it pretty quickly, is Total sales is in currency, dollars, running sum, just a decimal number. Total sales, fine in dollars, percent, decimal number. I'd like to see this in currency and this in percentage format. Unfortunately, there is no way to do anything here to format it. Neither here, the values here, if you change the type on, there's no, no type change here. So now I'm going to show you the versatility of the visual calculations is they accept DAX. They have certain formulas like running sum, collapse all that you can't use in DAX, but the converse is not true. You can use any DAX in the formula bar in this calculation. I'm going to do a lot more on this later, but right now I want to show you how to do the formatting. So back to my report, choose my first visual. Down here in the build pane, I'm going to right click on that field, 
edit the calculation. And now I could replace it with tax. I'll, like I said, I'll do more of that in the future. I'm going to format it with tax. So format running sum total sales. Well, the second argument of format is type. So we're going to use currency. Close my format, commit my measure. Now that's looking a lot better. I've got my running sum in the same format as my total sales. Let's go over here to my percent of grand total table. We'll do the same thing, edit calc. We'll format this one as percent. There you go. Back to my visual. If I didn't like running some, I could go back and do number, float, what have you. You can use any of the custom or default. Power BI, DAX, time formats. Now I've got exactly what I want. Hope you liked this video on formatting visual calculations. If you did, please like it and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Thanks, everybody.